I want to do an altar call really fast. If I can, I, can I do altar? Okay. Um, if you deal, I, I, I don't know why this sitting so heavy. If you deal heavy with like shame and condemnation and like the lies of the enemy, like telling you not worth it, and it's even stopped you from pursuing the things of God as far as your calling and your destiny, your purpose, I want you to come as close to the altar as you can. I just want to just want to pray over you. If that's what you deal with, like that, that shame, that condemnation. I sense a lot of you even work in ministry, like, so don't, don't be afraid of that. Man, there's, 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 there's a certain, um, a strong dealing that God has been dealing with you about for the past couple months. And I just want to confirm that it's God. Um, I just hear your ears being open to the things of God and you have disqualified yourself from, uh, I, I just sense there, there's a strong calling of God that you know what it is, but you have disqualified yourself from it because of uh, what people say, not even really what you feel. I sense a real security in the things of God, but God is going to come visit you in your dreams and your uh, and visions. I really see, like you see your discernment and your sight with God and the things of God is really clear. Um, and he's going to start to confirm. I even sense four confirmations of what you're called to do in this next season. So God, I just thank you over his life that he is not the thing. Ooh, he is not the label that, that, he, that has been put over his life. I thank you in the name of Jesus that shame, guilt, and condemnation, even, even from mistakes from like two years ago, that, that that would not break him down any longer. I thank you that it would not, woo, it won't even be a thing that reminds him anymore that 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 guilt that he carries even i i sense heavy guilt from like family members like there there are certain things that you don't want to be seen as uh by family because you carry a lot of weight in your family but god god is declaring over you that that's a false burden that you carry you are not made to make your name great that he is going to woo that the calling on your life is so strong that he's going to pull your name throughout all the mess, all the mistakes, and all the tragedies that you feel like is too powerful for him. So God, I thank you for that thing that you're doing in his life. Come on, I feel like there's like three more of you guys that, that, that needs, I sense a lot, some of you are kind of older too, like you carry, like you carry that shame and regret from a lot of things. Pastor, do you have elders in this thing? Pray, intercessors? I just want to pray with you guys and just, uh, just declare freedom. I, I want to, I believe, I, maybe I sense it so strong because it's something I have fought with and still sometimes fight with. I'm only 24 and I had a, when I had my child, I was one and a half, 2017, I had a baby out of wedlock and a pastor's kid. So I, for a year and a half, I dealt with like heavy, well, like a year, heavy depression, heavy shame, not wanting to be seen. I wanted to be embarrassment to my family and I, all that all that stuff and I sense that heavily I guess because I've been through it I can sense it um, that that strong thing the sting of like embarrassment like you you carry around the fear of being embarrassed and it, God God yeah come on intercessors y'all can come we're gonna we're gonna pray um god i thank you that in this moment that you're gonna free futures i, I hear that that a lot of you have disqualified yourself from from futures and things that have been promised over you because of what you've done because of mistakes you've made even because of things people keep reminding you of that God is like, yo, I forgot about that. Um, God, I thank you for freeing these futures now in these next few moments. That as we pray that your voice will be what's spoken, your heart will be what's felt, your spirit will be what's loud in the name of Jesus. So we're just going to pray. We'll worship. Y'all, if you're out there, you intercede, you worship. Um, God is not done, so you, he, can, he can touch you at your seat too. Pastor, we're going to pray. I'm going to lift up something.
I just, as I was praying for one of the men, I, I just sensed God really loudly declaring over over the, the men in the room that he's about to visit you. Like he's, he's, he's going to spend time with you um, and he's desiring uh, for the men to spend time. And there are certain uh, depths of healing that a lot of us need in here and it only comes with spending time with the Father um, and that you've been searching for a natural man to fulfill what a natural man left um but he as a spiritual father is about to come and fill every void it's going to come through spending time though he, he's going to spend time with you i just sense that just strong visitation and a lingering of god's presence with the men in the room just so you can prove to you that you still belong to him <laughs> yeah Jesus, you still belong to him. <coughs> Father, we thank you. We thank you. I thank you for every chain broken tonight. Every, every mental prison broken tonight. I thank you even for the work that you started on tonight, yeah. Yes, sir. That you will begin to uh, complete and that you will begin to process. Yes, sir. A lot of us, a lot of us leaving from tonight, leaving from this place are going to experience a high level of vulnerability because um, a lot of our hearts have been closed off to, to, to healing and to whatever God has to offer. And the way he's going to start that healing is vulnerability. Um, and sometimes we don't like feeling weak and vulnerable uh, because it's the fear of being taken advantage of but guys i just i just pray a covering over that space that no 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 soul tie no relationship no enemy no spirit would take advantage of that vulnerability i thank you that as you've begun this work tonight as you open up these hearts and you started a work i thank you that you will finish and you will complete it and whatever it looks like, we say yes. Ooh. Whatever it looks like, we say yes. We say yes. Just for these last 15 seconds, could you just give God another yes in this moment? Ooh, come on. Hey, yeah, da, 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 so, da. Ooh, whatever it looks like. Ooh, whatever it requires whatever you desire our answer is yes when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart I will agree and our answer will always will forever in the low season in the high season in the mountain on the valley it will be yes it will remain a yes on the good day on the worst day on our best day on the bad day our answer will remain the same we say yes to you. We say yes to you. We say yes to you. And when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord. Yeah. 